Welcome to the Saturday Morning Preview Show here on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel. I'm Kerry Pollock, Alan Ruff and Lee McCulloch join me on this morning. Ruffy, some more competition this week for the quiz? Yeah, but I think Lee won the last time. You yeah. know, quite comfortably. Just, I'm just concentrating yes. on not getting beat 5-0. Well, that's not a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then let's start. Uh, Lee, St Mirren take on Hearts. The Saints are just two points out from fourth. Stephen Robertson said in his press conference, no one else around them can afford to make mistakes, but they can. Does that just show you the level they've been playing at this season? Yeah. Yes, I think they've had a terrific season, as have Hearts, obviously, but I think from the St Mirren point of view, I think, was it a point? Would a point be enough to secure them top six? I think so. Uh, I think they're, they're more than less. But yeah. having, it's a difficult game, then their next game before the split is Celtic away, I think. Yes. So this will be the game that they want to pick up mm -hmm. as many points as possible, and you wouldn't rule them out uh, taking all three, but I think with, with Hearts threat at the top end uh, of the pitch that they've got and the goals they've got in them. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see it being really, really tight, uh, but you wouldn't put it past Stephen Robinson and, and that's the man squad they're getting a result. Definitely not, Ruffy. Hearts, from just the last meetings between the two sides, it's been two wins each and a draw. Does that suggest that there's less between the two sides than what the table might suggest? Uh, no, and I think in a one-off game, I think you're right. You know, I think uh, both of them, you know, have had fantastic, Lee said, they've had fantastic seasons. Uh, I think St Mirren, every time the old firm say they're going to St Mirren, they know they're going to get a hard game. I just think Hearts have got something to play for. They've got the semi-final coming up. The players will all want to be playing. You know, They'll all want to be in the back of the manager's mind to be in the heart for when that game comes around. So I think, I think it's going to be quite a tight game. So I'm going to sit in the fence in this one and go one each. One each, Lee? One each. One each as well. Kilmarnock face Ross County at Rugby Park. Kilmarnock going for five home wins out of six league. Can they get it against County? Well, yes, they definitely can get it. I think they'll be, they want to go finish the season high, secure that fourth place. Um, it's a game that really, on paper, they should be taking all three points, especially with their home form. Ross County still looking to get out that playoff position. Mm -hmm. Um, and try to drag maybe an Aberdeen in it. So um, another big game, but I can just see Kilmarnock with that fourth place up for grabs. I think Kilmarnock will win this 2 0. I'm going for 2 0, right? Okay, Ruffy. Uh, Dent McKinnis says it would have been disappointing for Kilmarnock not to get Europe this season. But are you surprised that that was on their target list at the start? Uh, I think initially, you know, I think we didn't know how Dundee were going to go, you know, so I would have thought, you know, run about the top six would have been a bonus, but to actually be in the top six will be absolutely tremendous. And I think they deserve it because the players that he's brought in have responded and it, we spoke about it last week. There's no many managers take that choice of playing two strikers and I like two strikers on the park. I like somebody going for it. You know, he's went for the three at the back and they three have done particularly well. So, no, I think he's they deserve to be in the, the top six and I think they will be because I think Ross County, firepower, I don't know, they, sometimes they played two, three strikers, but I think Kilmarnock at home have been very good. So I'm going to go Kilmarnock to win 3-0. 3-0, right then. Dundee take on Motherwell at Dens or will they? That is the question. Potential <laughs> another call off, a change of location. What's your thoughts on that? Oh God, I, I, I don't know. Um, they've got to have a better pitch come next season. That's that's my first thought. Um, if it's like that, then there's nothing much you can do. They're playing again there on Wednesday night, mm -hmm. um, so it'd be two games in the, the space of three, four days. It, it's a tough ask and a pitch that isn't that great. I don't imagine it will be a good spectacle at all. Um, so, am I right in saying they were looking for other venues? Yes, so I think Tanadice is available, Hamden was an option, I think there's maybe another few thrown in there, but I think they're doing everything they can. Yes, so it's, yeah. it's needs must to get the both games yeah. on, um, but I think come next season that there's got to be a stipulation, roughly where it's looking like we're not going to have any plastic pitches with Kilmarnock changing and maybe Livingston going down. I think there has to be a standard of pitch. How you can rate that, I've not got a clue, but um, I think they, there needs to be uh, some improvements done their pitch. I just hope it, it's on. It's a massive game for Motherwell. Dundee's still chasing that top six spot. They need the three points. Um, Motherwell, just to edge the point um, last weekend, they'll be happy eh? because they went behind in the game. I think Motherwell will take a point but I can see I can see this one being one each 
one each. Um, Otherwise, we'll be more than happy to have this game on Ruffy, the yeah. buses. It's an away game, and the split's coming up as well. Yeah, they want to try and get themselves away for the three that are at the bottom. Uh -huh. You know, they don't want to be dragged into anything. No. You know, if they're in that bottom six, you know, there's 15 points up for grabs. You know, and they, they've been there before. I don't know how many years ago that was when they were down there. So, <sighs> majority of the players will no want to go through that experience again. So, but I think Dundee have got the bit. You know, I think they, they want to be in that top six and they've got the home advantage. I can't understand the pitch because any time I played in it, it used to be a great surface. And it but was the slope, you think it would just slope, slope that? You know, but they're talking about moving the stadium. You know, I don't yeah, know if the council anyway. are going to give them planning permission to do that. So it's desperate situations for them. It's an embarrassment of it if that's called off again tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm going to go for Dundee to win this one, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. What did you say again? One each. One each, right, OK. Hibernian take on St Johnston. Three wins in six league games for Hibs. They take on Motherwell next week. Is this the time when you're looking for top six? You need a bit of a rub of the green, things to go your way. Yes, th this is uh, Hibs, which they have got aspirations of being in the top six. This is a must-win game for them. Uh, home game against a team that struggled a little bit of late. Um, they started so well under Craig and they're, they're just struggling to pick up a win mm -hmm. for anywhere. So I think uh, I think Hibs will have too much. I think that caveat of getting into the top six, they need the three points. So I'm going to go Hibs 3-0. Three, 3-0. No. Three, no. <laughs> it's a big <laughs> result, <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, did you expect more from Cl uh, Craig Levine this time, Ruffy? He's uh, four wins, six draws and 11 losses since November. No, I think he just went in there, you know, to try and get them away from that bottom two, you know, and if he's rebuilt for next year, you know, he'll he'll have an idea of now what kind of players he needs to bring in, you know, so he'll just be hoping that he can get away from that bottom two. I just think Hibs, you know, have got to finish the season on a run, you know, they've been up and down and they get a good result and you think, oh, here they go, yeah. and then the next week it's bang Ross County beat them or something like that so no I think that they need to get the fans on board for next year you yes. know I think they've had a pretty rough season and getting in the top six would help and what are you going for I'm going to go 2-0 2-0 okay then Livingston face Aberdeen David Martindale says the club needs major investment Lee how do you attract someone with deep pockets into a club in Livingston State I haven't got a clue. I think when you look at the club, it's a good club, it's a family club. Mm -hmm. um, I just think with the pitch, um, it's hard to attract signings there. Um, I don't know. I think if you, you get them in, if they go down, and then there's the money of coming back up, I suppose. Um, big, big game for, for Aberdeen this. I think they'll have too much for Livingston, and I'm going to go... 2-1 Aberdeen and Peter Levin to continue his good form. All right, OK. Prediction from Lee there. Uh, Dan De Don seem to be turning the corner a bit, Ruffy. You've backed them 2-for-2. Two two. Yeah. you get 3-3? Three and three? Yeah, I'm going to back them again. Uh, I think uh, Levy managers already come out and said he's going to lose four, five, six players next year. Yeah. You know, if they go down, I think it's going to be a horrendous two or three years for them because they're going to... If they go into that championship, they're going to start competing against teams that have got better resources than them. Yeah. You know, Dunfermline, five and six thousand people coming to the games, you know, Partick Thistle will still be there. You know, there are a lot of big teams there, so I, I think it could not be the demise of Livingston. I just think it will be very, very difficult to get them out of that championship. Mm -hmm. This one, I think Aberdeen will win. I'm going to go 1-0. Just 1-0, right, OK then, and tomorrow we've got the big one, Rangers against Celtic, the third Old Firm derby of the league season. History has says, Lee, if you win three out of four, you go on to win the league, but that has been proven wrong in the past. Home win for Rangers would put them to advantage of Celtic before their game against Dundee. A win obviously gives them that five-point advantage. If that happens... <laughs> Try to work that out. <laughs> if that was to happen, two <laughs> wins Celtic and Dundee, is it over? No. No. I think whoever wins this game, it gives you momentum, it gives you confidence. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean whatever team wins it, the league is won. A lot, although a lot of fans, I think, will see it that way. Uh -huh. There's still a lot of football to be played. There's still another old firm game to go. Um, I see this game how it starts. If Celtic start better... Rangers fans will get a little bit anxious. If Rangers start first 20 minutes better, you've got a full stadium with them. 
first goal is another thing that I think is going to be pivotal in the outcome of it. Um, but what an occasion. Yeah. Quite excited for the game tomorrow. I think it's going to be fireworks at the start of the game. I really believe it will start 100, 100 miles an hour. Um, and whoever gets that first goal, I think it will set them up really nicely. That's if there is a first goal. I just see it being so tight. Yeah. Do yeah. they start 100 miles an hour when you're in them and the whistle goes? Does it feel like woof? Yes, it feels quicker than that. Um, and the game seems to fly by, uh, f only from my experience yeah. in them. Um, the atmosphere, you can't play the atmosphere. You've just got to play the game of football and don't get drawn into anything at all. Mm -hmm. Have we got that in either team? Yes. Have we got experience in old firms? Yes, obviously, with the players that's going to be out there, but have we got experience in old firm games that could potentially be titled deciders? Not for years. And I think that that's the difference. Um, really excited for the game. Yes. It could go either... You're going to ask me for a prediction, aren't you? Uh, of course I will, yeah. I'm going to go... You can hold it until the end if you want, if you want. Yeah, OK. Right, OK. okay. <laughs> Ruffy, they say goals win new games, but defences win new titles. How key will both back lines be? in this game? Who, in your eyes, has the stronger defence? I think both of them are similar. You know, right. we've seen you know, the Rangers' defence being vulnerable against Motherwell at home, you know, and obviously Europe's a different different level. I, I don't think the Celtic defence has been settled at all. No. Obviously, Cameron Vickers coming back in there gives you something. You know, everybody says he's got a presence, which will be good. I, I, I just think it's up front. You know, right. midfield, I think, has got to be won. That's where the games are won. But the strikers are up there. And I've got a funny feeling, Dessers. <laughs> I've got, he came in for so much criticism in the game against Parkhead because of that chance that he had. I, I've got a funny feeling he's going to be a big player yeah. in this game. And uh, I can't split them. I honestly can't. You know, I don't think Celtic are getting into the game in, in, in great form. They're winning games now. Rangers at home with the advantage of the, the crowd and everything. Mm -hmm. If they win, as Lee said, that that points thing sticks in your head. The supporters will love it if, if Rangers win. So, unfortunately, I'm sitting on the fence. Sitting on the fence. And I'm going to go one each. One each, right. Ruffy said Dessers could be the main man for Rangers. For Celtic, who do you think will be a standout? I think in recent Old Firm games, it's got to be Kyogo. Kyogo you, yeah. you look at um, with, with the goals that, that he scored. Um, I think coming back a little bit, Callum McGregor, if he starts, is going to be Celtic's biggest threat, yeah. believe it or not, because I, I think he's obviously got the ability to, to dictate the game. So if he starts, it's up to Rangers to get somebody close to him to stop him playing. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of the t tactical battle that's going to be in the game. Um, I think Celtic's main man has got to be Kyogo. Um, and it's up to the Rangers defence it's up to the Rangers team to stop the service into him but when he gets the ball it's up to uh, the Rangers centre halves to, to deal with Yep, and you're going for your prediction please I'm going to go with home advantage one nothing very tightly to Rangers Goal scorer? Dessers Dessers and what did you say Ruffy? One each One each goal scorers? I'll go Dessers and Keogh Right okay <laughs> <laughs> yep, right, okay, then that brings us to our quiz. I've gone for an old this week, right? Sealed there. Yeah. Quickest answer wins. Sealed doesn't stop you if you're still telling people, Sealed. by the way, but, but I don't anyway. For the question you're right, okay. In the morning, right, okay. First question. But do you need a dead buzz? No, did you just shout? Yeah. <laughs> right. The animal noise. <laughs> <laughs> Get your personalised buzzer, right? <coughs> First question. Only five times since 1985-86 season has the team who has picked up the least amount of points in Old Firms has won the league. Who was the Rangers manager the last time that happened? Walter Smith. Well done. Sorry. Off the mark. <laughs> Off the mark. Right, OK, second question. <laughs> Brendan Rodgers is undefeated as Celtic boss in Old Firm games. In his 15 in charge, how many has he won? 15 Twelve. in charge? 12. Correct. 12. What? I was right. 12. 12. Ah! <laughs> he's already! <laughs> he's won 12, he's drawn 3 1 each, right? Okay. What was the score in the last, in the first old gift for him game of the season? 1 0. Oh, it's 1 0. What did you say? 1 0. 1 0 to Kyogo. Right, 2 1 to Lee. And who has won more old film games? Rangers. What? Yes. 
I thought you, you didn't even fin- <laughs> realize. I thought you was meant to the question. No, no, no. Right. So this is That's the, the this, last one. This is, this, is, this is for the one. Yeah, I'm right. The one. Oh my <laughs> God. Who was? Let me finish the right. question. Right. Let me hear it. Right. Okay. Who was sent off at Celtic Park the last time these two met? That young boy. No, no, the boy's not there. Balligan. Yes, it was Leon Balligan. <laughs> I was, going to say, I was going to say Liam King there. Oh, I, I wouldn't have got that. Leon Balligan, right? I forgot right. that. There you go then, Ruffy. Another Is that one. your first one? one yeah, you. first one. First, this year? Six months. <laughs> 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 One's a win. We'll be back next week with some more Premiership action to look forward to. Thanks for watching.